So hello. Uh, my first question is, could you please introduce yourself and also the project you are uh, presenting here at the Zero Project Conference? Uh, my name is Dorodi Sharma uh, and I'm a program manager at the National Center for Promotion of Employment for Disabled People based in New Delhi, India. It's a cross-disability advocacy organization. Uh, we started off as an employment organization and soon realized that employment cannot be achieved uh, for people with disabilities in isolation. Employment does not happen without education. Education does not happen without accessibility. And all three, employment, education, and accessibility, do not happen if you do not have uh, the adequate laws and policies. And to have adequate laws and policies, you need to have uh, public opinion which comes out of awareness. So we started working with a multi-pronged approach in all these five areas, employment, education, accessibility, laws and policies, and awareness. Uh, to do that, we uh, used, it, uh, used a method where we uh, looked at three areas. Uh, one where there are no policy at all, areas where there are absolutely no policies or laws. Second, if there is an area where there is a policy, but it's a bad policy, and so we have to get it changed. Third is if there's a policy, a good policy, but it's not being implemented. So we'd work to get the good policy implemented. And over the years, we have been able to get a lot of uh, policy and laws changed. And uh, there has been a, a substantial increase. Um, I think substantial may not be the right word, a significant increase in the uh, rate of uh, employment of uh, people with disabilities in uh, India since the time we have uh, started working in this particular field. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is your um, opinion on um, globalizing this project? Do you see any obstacles how this, uh, when, when thinking about uh, promoting this in other countries as well? See, advocacy uh, requires uh, a lot of uh, lobbying with uh, the political uh, class, uh, be it the government, be it the bureaucrats. Uh, uh, so uh, it's, it's, it's not very difficult, but it's not very easy either. So you would need to have a particular uh, knowledge about the socio-economic and political uh, situation of your country. Uh, India is a democracy, so we do have that kind of freedom to, uh, say, uh, use various tools of uh, opposing. Uh, uh, obviously, not uh, jump to a protest uh, the, the very first uh, day. We talk to politicians. We, we go and meet the politicians, the bureaucrats, and if they don't listen, then we keep following it up. And then we, if needed, then we have the freedom to come on the streets. Uh, not violent protests, anything to do uh, within the realm of democracy. Uh, this might not be very feasible uh, in some countries where it's not uh, very easy to come out and protest, but uh, advocacy works because if you do want to have sustainable and overreaching effect, you know, so, uh, if you're doing service delivery, which is important, very important in some countries, uh, but it, you may, it can only reach that many people at a time. So if you want to reach the entire population or have an overreaching and sustainable effect, you need to get policies and laws change. So I guess uh, in, uh, the same method might not work everywhere, but the idea will work. The idea that advocacy will lead to change will work in almost all countries. So you might need to kind of customize the methods uh, of uh, doing advocacy, but the idea itself can be globalized for sure. Um, my last question is, what are your impressions of the Zero Project Conference so far, and also what would be your wish for the future? Uh, the Zero Project Conference is, uh, is, is a much needed initiative, uh, especially because uh, this year they did a, a whole survey and came, came out with a documented uh, you know, empirical evidence of different innovative policies and practices, which is so needed in the disability sector because we do not have documentation. We do not have a ready reference where you can look up and see, okay, this worked in that country, we need to work in my country. Uh, so this is a very, very important initiative. And to get people from different uh, you know, sections of, uh, the, uh, the, of, the, of the society, be it corporates, be it the government, be it civil society uh, leaders, to, to have them in a room and discuss and uh, kind of learn from each other and share experiences is, is a very, very uh, 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 you know, important thing that needs to be done. Is much needed in the disability movement. Uh, having said that, I also think that I, we will need to take back all this knowledge to to, to, the, to, to back to the countries where we are from. 
and all the uh, policies and practices there that are being highlighted, you know, and all the people who uh, participated in the study. So all these findings need to be taken back to the grassroots. Because otherwise, it, I mean, you know, we come here, we we all very well-intentioned people, we're all motivated, enthusiastic, but when you go back home, we should not forget that this book should not uh, be kept uh, lying on shelves and cupboards and on the internet. It needs to go down right to the grassroots and out to people. So I think maybe translating the study might be a good idea to, to, to do, and, um, and uh, I guess also probably uh, finding out whether people who participate in the study and the policies that were showcased that people find it useful, so maybe a back backup, a follow-up of of, of the, this particular initiative need, can probably give us more feedback as to what can be changed and what can be improved in the future. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much.